What's going on guys? So we are at the 2024 Houston RV Show and we're going to take a look at a really cool product here. So in front of me, you are looking at an Airstream Bambi. This is probably one of my favorite floor plans from the folks at Airstream. Now yes, they make some incredible units, including the Globetrotter, which my friends over at Keep Your Daydream just got. But there's something special about this super tiny, super compact, kind of egg-shaped Airstream. It's just... It's, it's cute. It's arguably one of the most well-equipped, super tiny RVs I've ever seen. And of course, it's from the folks over at Airstream, so you know that it's built well. Torch and axles, a lot of great things. Let's take a closer look at it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so first and foremost, I like Airstreams, I do. I get the appeal. There's a lot of nostalgia that goes along with an Airstream, a lot of coolness, a lot of retro factor, and regardless of the type of person you are, almost universally, you like an Airstream. Now, if you don't like an Airstream, it's typically because they're pretty dang expensive. But when you compare them to other really high-end RVs, Quite frankly, you get a lot for your dollar. There's a huge community that follows Airstreams because of what they give you and how they're built and their design. So we're going to hop inside of this Bambi real quick and see what it's all about. So we may go and look at the numbers on the other side, but what I want to show you is what they've been able to do from an interior perspective and why you may be an Airstream fan after watching this. So first of all, they're kind of known for pioneering this type of space where they have a booth style dinette that's surrounded by windows again because of that whole radius aspect of how they design their rvs and they do it in such a comfortable practical way and you never feel as if you're in a cramped space in my opinion it always feels like you're in the super wide open airy space even though we're in a super super tiny rv they do very very innovative things such as cabinetry doors i mean who else does this they give you unique storage solutions all over the place. I mean, of course, you know, you're dealing with all the things that normally come with an Airstream, the overall look, the feel, you know you're in an Airstream when you're in an Airstream. More storage up here. Again, things that are just unique, things that you typically don't see in RVs. You have a two burner Dometic gas top here. You have your compact refrigerator right here. You have a super, super compact, it may be convection, but I'm not sure, let's see, might not be, but you have a super compact contour microwave right there, single basin stainless steel sink over here, on-demand tankless water heater, you have your Victron charge control system right here, but check this out. So on this side of us over here, you have this really awesome booth style dinette that could easily fit four people. You can convert this into a bed and you could easily sleep two small kids. As you come around, you have a kitchen that is totally a full practical kitchen. You can cook a meal, you can reheat a meal or cook a meal, use a refrigerator and freezer, and you can wash your dishes, hands, and anything else. Tankless on-demand water heater. Over here, you have your bed. Now this is the main bed, it's not huge, but if you're looking for something super compact, you gotta compromise, and this is one of those areas that you compromise a little bit. You have a nice, really nice, comfortable mattress. Underneath it, you have storage. And then next to it, you're gonna have more storage. And this is gonna be your wardrobe storage. Plus, of course, you can use this for wardrobe storage or this space over here. And you have your TV here, which can swivel all the way around so it can face kind of the entertaining area over here. Now, what's super nice about this is the fact that it has a reasonable wet bath. So when I say reasonable, it's actually a fully functional wet bath. Now they put a plastic toilet in here, kind of wish they'd put porcelain, but it's a good size wet bath. It doesn't feel so super cramped like you see in like some class B vans, but it is really nice. Now the only thing that they don't give you in here is a sink. That's how you turn the water on down there. The sink, you would have to come out and use this sink, which again is very common with these super, super compact trailers, but I think they've executed on it well. I do believe 
that they should go to a few higher end appliances like the air conditioning system up here. You know, there's nothing wrong with the Dometic air conditioning system, but I think the Truma air conditioning system would be a better fit up here. I think it would just be something you would expect to see. Um, also porcelain foot flush toilet would be nice, but overall, this is a really super cool compact Airstream travel trailer. And it's one that I think a lot of folks would really like if they're gonna you know, take their, their family camping out to the beach or out on a short getaway over the weekend. What do you guys think? Let's hop outside and take a quick look at the outside of this unit. Okay, starting up front, you have that 100% traditional Airstream look. Absolutely love the outside of this. You have a spot to hold two 30 pound propane cans, electric front tongue jack, two and five sixteenths inch ball mount. Everything is plumbed and ran really well. Plus you have, you have a spot up here for two batteries. LED light here to shine out and illuminate your step. This is gonna have a torsion axle underneath it. So not a traditional axle. And the Goodyear Endurance tires are gonna be on it. This has stabilization here off of the back as well. As we come around, LED lighting looks really, really nice and this unit is at Holiday World. You have your access hatches down here as well. For all of your stuff, check out all the storage bins and everything they put down here as well. So you may have a spot for everything you need, you just may have to find a place to put everything you need. Coming around this side, that's where all your power's connected. You have your on-demand tankless water heater, outside of your furnace, outside shower, tank fills, and your weights on this are, so your gross vehicle weight rating is 3,500 pounds. That is pretty crazy. Your cargo capacity on this unit is only 297 pounds. So a large family, you could still put them in here, but you wouldn't want to load this thing up with a ton of weight whenever you're towing it down the road, basically. You'd want to make sure that you have everything emptied out and, of course, nobody riding inside of it because that's illegal in most states. That said, though, this is a really, really cool unit. And I think that folks who are looking for a super compact travel trailer might dig this thing. Plus, its Airstreams are known for towing exceptionally well, and I bet this is no different. Anyways, guys, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I don't see the price on this one yet. They haven't posted it otherwise I would have shown you but there's a thousand and one Google searches that can help you find it or call the folks over at Holiday World and I'm sure they'd be happy to give you the sale price. Guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.